Well, I'm going to take you back to game one first because uh, I'm just curious. You waited so long to get back and play. What what was the feeling like just to be out again? It was great. Um, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself every day to try. You know, you know, in my head when I went out there, I was like, okay, like I'm mid I'm mid season form when I played a couple years ago. So I was, you know, my expectations. But when you get out there and play again, you know, you, you figure out, you know that this is still really, really new for me coming back. Um, but being out there, it, was, it felt so good to play again and just to run up and down and compete against someone that's not my teammates. Um, it was a really great feeling. I think the thing that was interesting to me is getting to go to the morning team meeting and Cal points out all the great things you did and you didn't score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's just something that, that's kind of been you know, who I am. I just try to make the right plays every time. Um, I'm not gonna try to force things. I'm not going to try to hunt my shots. You know, I'm going to take my open shots and make the right plays always. And I think yesterday, Kyle was just trying to prove a point, that exact point. You know, you don't have to score 20 points a game to impact winning. It's just making the right plays. And that's just kind of who I am, and that's who I'm always going to be. Um, if i got to help my teammates out, make plays for others, guard, take charges, do the dirty things, um, make shots, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to win. That being said, game two, you finally get the scoring going. Does that take a little pressure off your back? Just like, okay, got that done. Yeah, it, felt, it definitely felt good to see the ball go in the basket for the first time in a while. Um, but it's just constantly reminding myself that, you know, it's still baby steps right now. Um, every game I'm going to get better. Every practice I'm going to get better. I'm going to get into a better, better rhythm. Um, but, yeah, it definitely felt good to just be in a better rhythm. And I think playing, you know, coach, coach was really cool, letting me play more minutes today to try to get in a better rhythm. Um, so it felt good. It felt good playing. Did you, did you beg to get back in in game one? I think I saw you like. Yeah, you know, I, I came out and I looked at Chin. I was like, yo, like, come on now. Let me, let me get a little more. I can't, I can't be running up and down for two minutes and then coming out. I'm fine. I'm fine. And, you know, Cal mentioned yesterday, he's like, CJ's fine. You know, let him, let him get a little more. So that's my dog. <laughs> so um, when, when you were going through this whole process, who were you leaning on? I know, I know a lot of people have people they can ask questions of and maybe been injured before or whatever. Who, was there anybody that you, you relied on? Yeah, you know, there were a lot of people. Um, obviously, my teammates um, were huge because, you know, they saw me go through two things in a season um, that, you know, no basketball player that wants to go through. So um, the love I have for my teammates is definitely what got me through it. And then I have great family support. You know, my dad called me every day. My mom called me every day, um, just keeping me positive. Um, and my girlfriend was obviously really big. You know, she, she tore her Achilles so we at the same time. So we were able to kind of go through something together and help each other every day. So I've had just tremendous support around me to help me get to where I am now. Were you ever worried? Like, like you going through a couple things like that, do you start to think, oh, man, this may be bad or just you're always in the rehab process and thinking I'm getting back? Oh, yeah, it was always I'm getting back. Um, you know, that first injury I had, it really mentally took a toll on me because I was trying to come in and prove myself right away. Um, and that kind of wiped me out. And I knew even coming back, my timetable was right around the Duke game. But that's not enough. You know, I haven't practiced all summer. So mentally, I was like, dang, like, you know, this was this was my time to really show what I can do. Um, so that was demoralizing to me. And then when I went out um, and tore my hamstring, um, you know, I didn't. It was surprising. You know, mentally, I wasn't I wasn't really in a bad spot. You know, I had I had a one day where I cried with my family on the phone because it was just it was so tough um, but then literally after that moment it was positivity every day and I was immediately trying to get back to work right away for the, obviously this moment right here um, so obviously I wouldn't wouldn't want to go through that again but you know to be here playing in the Bahamas and playing with my teammates it's it's all been worth it different mental thing but I think just to get over the have you gotten over the, I'm not thinking about injury now, I'm just going out there and trying to do it, you know, or are you, are you still trying to take it slow? Um, you know, that mental block of when I jump, not hearing a pop or hear something pull, that's gone, fine, that's good. Yeah, that, that was gone about a month ago, two months ago. Um, but I'm still trying to take it, take it slow day by day. Um, and coaches have been doing a great job. Obviously, I don't want limited minutes, but I understand, you know, being a veteran, um, playing that I got to be, my body's got to be at its peak in November through through uh, April. So taking it slow right now, um, but the injury part of my head, that's gone. So when you look at this team, what, what gets you excited about it for this year? You know, it's definitely, it's got to be 
what we can really do on the defensive end. Um, and I think that's been a huge key for us all summer. You know, we do it every day in practice. Um, so to see the transition from practice to here in the Bahamas, you know, it's just what's really eye opening to me is the length, the rim protection that we have, and then our guards really keep people in front. Um, so obviously the pick and roll coverages are still going to be a little iffy because we're still learning calls and people are still trying, you know, learning to trust each other. Um, but I think that's something that's really going to help us this year because I think. I think a lot of these guys can score the basketball, obviously, because you can see. Um, but that defensive energy and the athleticism and the length that we have is going to be really disruptive. Does your defense, does that come from the days in college, or does it go before that, I mean, to be such a good defender? Uh, it's been before. You know, um, in, like, little Catholic school basketball, um, I was able to play with a really good organization called the Friars Club with Coach Sean Cook, um, and he was probably the first one that really was big on defense. Um, and I was like a chunky, overweight, uh, white little shooter. So, you know, defense probably, you know, I wasn't a great defender at the time, but he instilled little things that are helping me even today of just being in the right spot. And um, so a lot of credit goes to him. And then my high school coach, Coach Rusats, coach for uh, Coach Hurley at St. Anthony's and defense was huge there. Um, so then as my body grew, and I thinned out and I got quicker. Um, I was able to put all the pieces together and um, just try to be smart and be in the right places at all the time and play with tremendous energy. And that's, that's been pretty big for me. I mean, you obviously looked like when we were at the meeting and you were going through film, you're blowing up some of the pick and rolls. Mm -hmm. Is that something you can help like Antonio was having trouble with it? Can you help bring him along and, and be like that that coach on the floor which obviously coach Cal wants yeah for sure you know I'm here I played a lot I played a lot of basketball games I played a lot of big games so I'm here to help all these guys um, so I think kind of what you saw last night honestly like we didn't talk about a lot of those things prior to the game I just in my instincts I did it because I've guarded really good players so it's not it's not even, it's not even on them you know because we're doing what they were just doing what coaches were telling them to do um, but I'm here to help, you know, whoever I can, because I think it'll help us win games down the stretch. Thanks. Yeah, Appreciate thanks. it. You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18.